Hello everybody. I'd like to welcome you back to another Awesomely Professional Productions production. Today we have an extravaganza for you, a veritable extravaganza. For my ambiance items today, I have a fabulous baseball game alongside an Awesomely Professional tennis match. Yes, guys, this is indeed the tour sports edition of Awesome Professional Production Production. Bringing it back down to the grass top here, I'd like to introduce you to this little darling. Yes, I have a cold. I have a little cough. I'm poorly, darlings. I'm poorly. I'm not feeling very well. These are my ambiance items in case I hack a lung up halfway through. Moving on, this little darling here. I did it again, I did it again everybody. I went to another buy sell trade group. I need to not do that anymore. It is very bad for my health, it is certainly bad for my wallet, and it is invariably bad for the storage space that I'm running out of for these little traveler's notebooks. This, this is a wild flower amber traveler's notebook by Foxy Fix. Please do not tell Jennifer Harvey. I've upset her once when I cheated on her. I don't want to be in trouble again. Poor Jennifer. Sheik Sparrow will always have my heart. Every now and again I let her step out with another. I know that's immoral, sort of. But I just can't help myself every now and again. So darlings, this traveler's notebook has a very specific purpose. This notebook houses a G2 ink gel type pen. It also houses a made by me, very shoddily, little insert that I just slip in. To one of the elastics there. It's just printer paper, 24 pound printer paper. And I just raggedly cut it up, stack it in together like this, and then I use this without any binding or any staples. See that? And I just pop it right into the first string here. And this, oh my goodness, is now destroyed. And this I use for quick notes, memos on the go. Or if I want to leave a message for somebody who parked badly, I just pop it under their windscreen wiper. They appreciate being told how they can approve. I'm sure, I'm sure they do. But the main purpose for this little journal is for this. Ooh, look at this, darlings. Not only is October the best month of the year, for it is my birthday month, October is also the home of Inktober. Now I know I sound awesome and professional when I talk about this, but I literally found out about this on September 30th and thought, oh, I'll give that a go. The idea of Inktober is that you draw a little something every day. And these are your prompts. Do not believe for one second, darlings, that I can actually draw. I cannot. The only thing I can draw well is a bath. And at times that overflows and goes everywhere too. But I thought, how hard can it be? I see all these artists on YouTube and they certainly look as if they know what they're doing, so why couldn't I just give it a little crack, give it a little go? So that's what I decided to do. So this little darling here is gonna house my Inktober journal. I can't remember the name of the journal. Maybe it's written on the back. Oh, you can't see the back cover because I made a handy dandy little cardboard thingy to stick it into this back pocket because it was fitting horribly on the elastics here. So I don't even know what kind of journal this is. Hmm, I don't know. But look, I gave you a sneak peek. Yesterday, the word of the day for October was ring. In the singular, darlings, ring. So look what I did. Rings in the plural. I have already failed. Inktober is a bust. I have already failed on day one. Ho oh, hum. Today is day two and I have yet to decide what I am going to do for mindless. 
So many thoughts, so little time, so little paper. This little notebook is awfully nice. Cost me about six dollars and ninety cents from Amazon. It's a, it's a, it's not a pentatonic because I know that that's the name of the group, but it's a penta something, and I'll, I'll, I'll write what it is in the description box, I believe below. But I guess I'll do that. But this, this is just a quick little video to show you, really, the love that is this notebook. Let me take. Darlings, I apologise. Somebody called me just now from Microsoft Windows. They told me that they knew I was sitting in front of my computer and that I did in fact have a virus and I had to go to somewhere called www. something. They lost me, the poor gentleman. I'm sure he was unsure as to who he was speaking because I'm in the middle of a field watching an awesomely professional softball game and an awesomely professional tennis match. Oh, darlings, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, back to the notebook. This, like I say, is the wild flower in amber from Foxy Fix. This is the micro size, which is a smidge bigger than a Chic Sparrow Nano. It's a very durable leather. It doesn't really mark up. It does a little bit, but it rubs right out. See that? It rubs right out. It's a nice little thing. It's got that reinforced spine again. And this time, thankfully, no garish elastics. I really don't like the garish elastics. I like the matte elastics to match, to blend, to go with the ensemble that is the leather and the notebook within. It has what I believe they call crisscross pockets, like this. And you can pop any little bits and pieces that you would like in here. This would make a very good wallet, but that of course is not the purpose of this particular notebook, at least not for this month. This, as I've mentioned before, will house my Inktober journal. There we go. Let's see how that looks with that. No, you see the reinforced spine, you have to put something in here, otherwise it's it's wonky, darlings. It's, it, it's crooked, it doesn't go, it doesn't go. So let me pop this back in. Now, interesting story. This notebook is a famous notebook. I purchased this notebook from John Rush. Yes, I did. It was actually featured in one of his videos. Yes, and he gave a much better explanation of what this notebook actually is. So I think I might go ahead and link that also down below, down below. So go see John, go see that I am now taking care of his lovely notebook for him. Anyway, darlings, this was just a short little video to show you my newest little tiny baby notebook, the Foxy Fix Wild Flower in Amber. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time on another edition of Awesomely Professional Productions Production. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.